Hi everyone. Welcome to Java Techie. Have you ever imagined you could build an app in a minutes rather than days or week? Well, cheer up because in today's video, we are going to explore an absolute game changer that is Chat GPT. Okay? All right. So in today's video, I will be taking you through the incredible process of how Chat GPT helped me to build a fully functional application in just a minute. But that's not all. I will also walk you through the steps to host your application and demonstrate how you can effortlessly install it on your Android phone. Trust me, I am not kidding. It's like a having coding wizard at your fingertips. That's awesome, isn't it? Let's see it in action. So without any further delay, let's get started. So before we get started, let me walk you through the steps what we are going to perform in this video. Basically, we are going to design a fun game that is Tic Tac Toe. I am sure many of you have fond memories of playing this game in their childhood. For those who have not experienced it yet, don't worry, we will play it together today. To kick things off, we will initiate the process by generating the code using Chart GPT. Then we will host our application to the website. Then we'll get the Android APK and next we'll install that Android APK in our mobile and we'll run the game in our mobile. All the links what I'll use in this entire video is completely open source. End of the video, you can give a try with all the links and I'll share them in the video description. Okay. So let's begin with our first step. We'll ask Chat GPT to generate the tic tac toe game for us. So go to the Chrome and open the Chat GPT. Then here you can ask to the chat GPT, hey, can you generate tic-tac-toe game, attractive HTML, CSS and JavaScript code for me? So simply, same, just type in the prompt. Okay, just type. Then simply press enter. It will start generating code for you. Can you see here, it started generating the HTML. Inside HTML, it is adding the CSS to customize your page and then it also added the JavaScript in the same file. You can ask ChatGPT to generate all the three files in separate folder but for now, it is generating in a single file. So simply, I will copy this code and then to test whether it is working or not, there is a site, online site, you can play with your HTML, CSS, JavaScript code that is code pane. Just go to this code pane and just log in with your user ID. If you don't have an account, you need to sign up first. Okay. So just paste the code which you copied from the chat GPT. Just paste it here. It will load in this particular section. Can you see here? It's loading now. Just add something. Let me zoom this for you. Player X wins because there are three same sign, right? So this is the static page. You can customize it as per your need. Now let's say I just want to display who is playing the symbol or who whose turns to add the symbol. And also I want to add something called reset button. And I want to add some better graphic and reset the background. Something like that I want to customize. So you can ask same thing to the chat GPT as a individual prompt or in a single shot. You can ask to the chat GPT to do all the stuff for you. So let me add the prompt. So turn status in top of the board and reset game button in bottom and add some better graphics for board and keep background to purple color in above code. In the same code, do all the modification. Okay. If I don't know any CSS JavaScript still being a layman, I can able to generate whatever the things I need from the chat GPT. What else you need from this AI tool? Let's generate it. Great, it generated within a second. Now let me copy the same code and I will go to this code pane and I will click OK and I will just copy and paste. Okay, it will load the page. Can you see here? The things are changed here. The background is changed and the board is also getting changed and reset game is there and player's turn 
is getting displayed here let's say now it's x turn he will add x then again players o turn okay so you can do like this you can play the game so whenever you want it's a draw right because there are no three same symbol for any of the user fine so if you want you can customize it in a better way you can add some better color in the background you can change the board and you can also change the text font everything whatever you want let's go with this basic template okay or if you want to customize it further simple go to the chat gpt just simply ask him add just in the above code just add some better background and font which will be attractive something like that next simply copy this okay and paste it here just close this and paste the code to load in a few second yeah it looks better right just add the turn i mean now it's o turn you can play like this x wins it is also showing the status correctly and there is a reset game you can reset the game and you can play so it depends on you how you want to customize your front end app okay it's a draw now like this you can play the game fine now let's move to the next step that is host your app to the any of the free website so there is a website called tinny which is completely free we are going to host our this tic tac toe game inside that particular website okay so let me go to the browser and i will open that particular link tinny.host/manage so you need to log in for first time i mean if you are not a user you need to sign up i have already created the account let me see whether it is showing yeah i have already created the account so i can simply upload my code to host that as a application in this particular page okay so if you observe here click on upload and what it is asking you can give the html file or zip file so you can provide that so that it will be host directly to this particular website okay so what i want to do so whatever the code we are generated and whatever the code we have tested i want to host the same code so for that i will keep a folder and i will keep this particular html file let me go step by step first copy the code go to any of your text editor and paste it then i will save this particular file in the desktop something like index.html or home.html anything you can give okay so i will keep it inside a project click on save so i'll go to the desktop i have the file called project right where i have kept just the index.html now what i will do i will convert this as a zip and so that i can upload that zip file to the tiny website so just compress it you can see here project.zip is created now go to the browser and in the tiny host click on upload then upload as a zip file and also you can provide the name let's say java techy tic tac to then upload the file from your desktop just open now just publish it since this is the free website you can only publish a single application okay so just click on publish it will take few second to upload your html and source code now your project is uploaded to this particular website we are successfully host our website now if you will open this particular url you can see your game here right just play the game x win so this is now publicly hosted this particular url anyone can access and anyone can play the game that's pretty cool right so we are done with our second step we are able to host our application to this tiny website now the next step get the android apk file so to get the android apk what you can do there is another website you can use that particular website to get the android apk file so there is the application name called online app marker just click on that here also you need to sign up now what you can do to get the apk of this particular application 
you just copy this link and give it to the online app maker just provide the link to him and then you can give your app name java techy tic tac to you can give any name okay now also if you if you want you can choose the icon of your game so that it will be visible in your android app so just select the icon i'll take some icon from my you can get the icon i mean from the google itself and just add it here now major version is this minor version is this package name just ignore it click on next okay all set now make an app just click on this make app it will take few second make sure you need to select for android because for ios app it is chargeable okay this particular application is free to generate the apk for android not for ios app so you can see here the progress here it will take few second i guess it's done app home page select category just ignore it okay okay it's asking something uh, games some description now you can see here right java techy tic tac to this is what the name we have set our app name just click on this particular download icon then just press it download for free download all the zip file now it's getting downloaded here so just go to the download and just unzip it so once you unzip then you can see the file something like android folder okay inside the android you can see something called app release dot apk you can see here the size is 3.3 .3 mb and it generated just now so what we can do now we can install this dot apk file in our android phone so that we can play the game in our android itself okay so to do that what i will do i will upload this particular dot apk file in my drive so i will just upload something i mean that particular apk file then from the phone i will install that okay just go here go to the android this is the file i want to upload in my drive so that i can access my drive from my phone and i can able to install it okay i have this apk release app release dot apk now i will connect on my mobile and i will try to install that in my mobile okay so you can see here my mobile page now let's go to the drive and we'll just install the apk file okay so i'll just download it just go to the download file look at the file just once so you can see this file now just click on it continue install got it done app not installed so you need to allow it to install on your machine okay more details install anyway open now this app is there on my phone i have successfully installed the apk file in my android phone and i can able to play the game in my android phone so i can play here can you see here x wins the game reset the game x wins the game so all the steps what we have discussed we generate the code we host it in the tiny website then we generate the android apk and we are successfully able to play the game in our mobile after install the apk okay so all the process takes time but within a minute i have generated the code using this chat gpt you can generate any game or anything from the chat gpt and hosting it to the website generating the android app and install it on mobile takes time to explain you okay but within 5 minute everything you can do if you are aware about all the website no worries i will share all the required link in the video description so you guys can refer that and you can develop your own game and you can host it okay do let me know in a comment section if you found this tutorial helpful and if you found this chat gpt really helps you in your day to day life that's all about this particular video guys 
Thanks for watching this video. Meet you soon with a new concept.